Right, let's fly for a question again. So force, we're going to do today. Force is equal to mass multiplied by acceleration. And I'm putting brackets there by gravity. Some of you will understand what I mean by that. We're going to go through that in this question now. Let's have a look. So what force would be required for a weightlifter to lift 100 kilograms above their head? So we've been asked for the force and we've been given the mass. Okay. So let's have a look at what this formula is to start with that we know that includes these. So the force is equal to the mass of the object multiplied by the acceleration. And if you remember from the beginning when I mentioned about acceleration by gravity, what do we actually mean by that? So if we think about it, this weightlifter is going to have to apply an upwards force, isn't it, to lift this weight up. Let's just say this is the weight here. It's going to have to apply an upwards force to lift it. But what force is coming down on every one kilogram of mass on Earth is a force coming down on all of us, which is gravity, isn't it? Okay? So each kilogram that this weightlifter pushes in the upwards force, he has to overcome gravity. And gravity is defined as 9.81 newtons per kilogram. So hopefully that makes us understand our calculation a little bit more now. So when we're working out the force required, we're multiplying the mass, 100 kilograms, by the acceleration by gravity, which means for every kilogram of this 100 kilogram weight, this weightlift has got to overcome 9.81 newtons per one kilogram. So let's punch some numbers in. Now we understand what we're talking about. So the force is equal to the mass, which is 100 kilograms, multiplied by 9.81 newtons, which is the what we needed to put in for gravity in newtons per one kilogram. So let's punch that in our calculator, and that's going to give us 981 newtons. Okay, so that's correct. So let's, re let's recap on that. So we've asked for the force. We're lifting an object up, okay? And we've got 100 kilograms of mass that we're lifting above our head here, this weightlifter. So we understand that one kilogram... Um, experiences 9.81 newtons of force as per the acceleration by gravity. Okay, so let's bear that in mind when we come to our exams that we've got to include this. If anything's being lifted up, so let's leave you with this at the bottom here. So acceleration by gravity only has an effect on objects moving in a vertical direction, so objects being pushed up, okay? So if you get a question that doesn't mention this and it's talking about pushing something this way, you're not going to have to overcome the force of gravity, are you, to push a box this way? No, you're not. Okay, so watch that again. Recap on the actual PowerPoint where you've got a lot more information about force and energy and work. So recap on that and have a go at some questions.